We are here this week at the York County Fair, just a couple of weeks away from the Nebraska State Fair. And if you haven't noticed, Marilyn and I are pretty excited about a new exhibit they're calling Raising Nebraska. And our co-host recently got a sneak peek inside. Here's Marilyn. Raising Nebraska. This is another really cool feature that you'll see here at the Nebraska State Fair. So first of all, explain obviously a grain bin behind us, but this one's kind of different, kind of cool. What's going on here? So this is an example certainly of how crop storage happens in Nebraska, but the cooler thing is what you'll see inside. So don't just look at the outside, but go on in because there'll be a huge TV screen with actual video of real Nebraska producers and how they produce crops. You'll see farmers who produce corn, soybeans, alfalfa, dry edible beans, which is a piece of Nebraska's crop too. Um, and you'll see what they're doing, what's happening on their farm. So you kind of get the vision of not only the planting, but also the harvesting, the storage, what that means to Nebraska. And the work that goes behind it. That's kind of a lot of the message too, right? Exactly. Uh, there are people who are raising the food that you eat, and this exhibit, along with everything else in the building, is designed to help people understand just that. It's the food here in Nebraska, it's the food here in the Midwest, but also our role in feeding the world. Nebraska plays a big part of that. And this whole building, everything pretty much connects to something, right? That's the whole concept. It's looking at agriculture and feeding the world and hunger in the broadest sense, the research behind that, the technology behind that, the science behind that, and how it all fits together. The video in here is going to be really cool. It's almost going to kind of wrap around, kind of, right? We're so excited because here you see some of the parts, but then yet on the video, you see what it's like in a real field or what it's like in a real barn. So you get a sense of, of what's happening on those farms that you may drive across the state and see. Not just kids can learn, adults can too, right? That's part of the goal. It's for everybody. Absolutely. If you have questions, of course, go to our website, Nebraska.tv. Another feature here at Raising Nebraska. Four years and one million visitors after the big move to Grand Island, the fair is still going strong, but there's one area where they could use a little help. That's volunteers. Would you care for a map? Greeting one million plus with a smile. Volunteers are there to make sure visitors see a friendly face as soon as they enter the gate. It's great for the community. It's great to help out. Um, it's a lot of fun to be out here to help out, you know, and, and meet so many different people from different areas of Nebraska. I really enjoy meeting all the people. It's so much fun. Help them with things and finding their way around, but just visiting with strangers that become friends. Retirees like Dale and Gay Crandall fill many roles, believing it's important for those in central Nebraska to support the fair. Absolutely. You should volunteer at least a few days. A and few days. But volunteer numbers are behind schedule. We've experienced a little bit of a lag this year. With the fair now in its fifth year, volunteer interest may be slowing, even as the fair seems to set new attendance records every year. There's always excitement when it's new and it's the first year, um, but it's just as important this year. And there's, you know, the new Nebraska building. So they challenge businesses to do what Centris Credit Union has done and serve together. Um, and a group of us from work decided that, you know, that would be a good way to volunteer for the community. And Justine has greeted tour buses and worked in an information kiosk. This year, she'll be in the gift shop. No matter the job, she says it makes a difference. When you get here, there's so much to do and it can be overwhelming and it's great to have somebody to ask and, you know, look for the yellow shirt. The fair has been embraced in Grand Island and business people say they want to support it. It is the big event. So brings a lot of people to town and uh, get to see what Grand Island has to offer. Our farm family of the month is still to come. Up next, weather. 